Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. Today we're going to be looking and doing a basic review of the Motorola MBP85 Connect camera. So this camera is marketed and sold as a baby monitor, but it can be used for other purposes as well, for security reasons, uh, and also just for monitoring other bits and pieces. But as I said, it is sold as a baby monitor, so it works very, very well as a baby monitor. So the first thing you have to know is that this camera is completely wireless. It works on your standard wireless network that you would have at home. So you don't need a separate baby monitor display unit with it, even though you can purchase those separately. The great thing about this is that you can actually use your, your smartphone or your tablet, say for example, your iPhone or your iPad. You can actually connect to it from your computer as well from your Mac or from your Windows computer and actually monitor your baby or your or security or what have you through the device itself over the internet. So you don't actually even have to be right next to it with your baby monitor or within range. Because it is over the internet and it uploads um, onto the, well it doesn't upload, but you can access it through the internet through a Motorola portal that you set up when you first configure the camera. Makes it very, very easy to manage and you can control it, you can see it, you can take photos, you can talk to your baby, you can hear if your baby's talking, etc. All via the internet and via the Wi-Fi that you would have at home. All right, so that is a fantastic feature. So you'll see that on the side of the camera, you've got like the vents on the side, which lets you have audio coming out and audio coming in. So you can actually hear your baby talking, screaming. You can actually also play music from the um, from your you know from your monitor, for example, from your iPhone. You can play it straight from there to your camera. Okay, so actually there's pre-recorded songs part of the device that you can play through. Um, you can also talk to your child, which we'll go through later on when we look at the app, but it's got some really cool features to be able to completely manage it as well. The camera itself moves up and down, all right, forward and back, and also tilts from left to right as well. It has a mode to turn it upside down, so if you turn it upside down, your image isn't upside down. You can actually set it so that it can become ceiling mounted, essentially, right? On the side here, you've got the microphone for picking out the audio. You've got the antenna as well for actually connecting to your wireless network. So the camera configuration is very, very easy. You would literally just turn it on from the on off switch, which you can see there on the side, on off. You turn it on, it will then start looking for some sort of a network. You can actually connect to it the first time it'll have a network that you can connect to and configure it. On the side is the connector where you plug in your power. Okay, on the bottom of the unit you've got the mounts. Okay, so you put a couple of screws there and you would mount it into your wall. Okay, so that is the camera itself. It's a great quality camera. Uh, after doing many, many reviews and reading and researching different types of cameras, especially for baby monitors, we found this the one to be the best at a reasonable price and the flexibility of being able to access it from your smartphone is fantastic. The good thing is you can actually buy multiple cameras and manage them all through the one portal on your smartphone as well. So let's go ahead and look at the app itself. So the portal itself, you go to the app store, so we're doing this on an iPad, and there is a Hubble for Motorola monitors. This is the app that you would go ahead and download, you install it, and then you can open it up. It'll ask you to create an account and then you can go from there. So let's just, uh, I've already opened it. I've already downloaded it and opened it. So let's just go ahead and say open. It'll log me into the server. And now I'm presented. Now this is all, once you've done your setup, you're then gonna be presented with your simple login screen. You can see from the top right corner, I've got a plus and I can add a camera. So because I've only got the one camera, you've only got the one listed in there. You can go ahead and name this. You can do the customization. You can change the camera name. You can change the actual picture. It gives you some information there about the camera. You can delete all the events. You can change the time zone, all that sort of stuff. You can set up your notifications as well. 
how do you want your motion sensitivity to be? This is a very cool feature. So you can actually set it to be low or high. So you can actually set up so that if there's movement in the room, depending on how much movement, it will send you an alert. So you can turn that on or off, like so. Updating, we're gonna turn it on, and we're gonna set it to medium. All right, motion video recording. So as soon as the video uh, motion is detected, it'll start recording a video. You can set up a detection scheduling. So you don't wanna be detecting um, you know, motion all of the time because you may be in the room and you don't want it to detect you being, you know, you moving. So you can set it up just overnight. I wanna know if my baby's moving. So you can go ahead and set some schedules. You can set up the sound sensitivity as well. So if the baby does a noise, you will know about it as well. You've also got temperature monitors as well. How hot or how cold do you want it to be before it alerts you? You can change it from centigrade to Fahrenheit as well. The settings area, um, you can mount it, the camera you can mount it um, upside down or right side up. Depending on how it's mounted, you can adjust it to be you know, ceiling mounted or not. So the, the actual image itself will flick over. Night vision, so it will actually give you a night vision of the um, of you know your baby, for example. Uh, generally, set it to auto so that it knows when it's dark in the room. It'll automatically go to night vision. So on or off as well. How is the brightness and how is the volume itself? So let's just go back into the center here. So we can just go ahead and look at this camera. And right there, we can see that it's just a little bit dark in there because I've, there's no light on in the room where the camera is. So I can go ahead and actually adjust the camera, can move it up or down. All right, so let's just move it up. Oops, we're going the wrong way. So this is all done completely over Wi-Fi. All right, so I'm not, uh, I'm not using its own different technology. It's just connecting directly through the internet so I can go ahead and just adjust it accordingly. All right, so there you go, nice and easy. So that is adjusting the camera up and down, left and right. Okay. You've also got the little microphone button here. So you can hold that, tap to talk, so you can actually click on it, and then you can talk to your baby. You can say, go to sleep, baby and then click it again and it'll stop. And it'll actually come out through the microphone, through the, through the speaker, sorry, on the camera on the other end. You can take a photo. If he looks very cute, how he's sleeping, you can take a photo of it, you can take a video of it. You can go into the music and play a music. So I can just say play. You may be able to hear that in the background, but you can actually play different sorts of melodies as well to try to put your baby to sleep as well. You've got the temperature gauge to see how hot it is in that room at the moment. You can search, you can actually look through past events to see when things happen, when sound was detected, when motion was detected. And you can actually turn the sound on and off as well. And then back into settings is where we were before. Okay, so if we look back in notifications, your new notifications will be listed in here. You can also go into videos if you have saved any videos. So if you recorded some videos, you will find that information in there. Settings is where we were looking at before to adjust some of your settings. You can also do some other stuff. You can set like general settings, 24 hour time, your temperature, um, do not disturb, all those sort of things. Account is where you create your account. And then about is the about the camera itself and the software itself. So. That is a general overview of that uh, Hubble uh, Motorola uh, camera. Super, super cool camera. Haven't had a problem with it at all. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos.